Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to clear or fix a pending or a stuck transaction on Ethereum using your MetaMask wallet. If you've tried to do a transaction and it's not going through, no matter what you do, it's very possible you have a stuck transaction or you have a transaction that's not clearing. It's important if you come to Etherscan, you want to kind of see what's going on. What well, you go to etherscan.io, you can come over here, grab your wallet address here and you can copy it in. The other thing that you can do inside of MetaMask, if you just come over here, click on MetaMask, and then click these three buttons and put view account on MetaMask, it will also bring you straight to this page. It'll show your wallet address up here, and then you scroll down and you'll see, like right here, I have a pending transaction. It's been pending for two hours and 43 minutes. Now, if you want to know what this transaction is doing or what contract I'm interacting with, go watch my video, the last video I did where I talked about earning $50,000 with this one project. I'll put a link above in the cards. I'll put it down in the description as well. But I ended up with this pending transaction. It's two hours and 43 minutes later and the transaction is still stuck. If I try to send another transaction, it will fail. That's how I realized I still had a pending transaction. I tried to send a transaction two or three times and it kept failing. And then I came to Etherscan to see what was going on and I had a pending transaction. Now it's important to recognize inside of my wallet, in this case, in this particular case, it didn't actually show the pending transaction. It didn't show that it had failed. I didn't realize until I came to Etherscan and that's when I saw, oh, I still have a transaction pending. So how do we clear this out? It's actually pretty easy. What you need to do is you need to click on the transaction. You wanna scroll down to see more and you wanna take note of the nonce. This nonce is 1857. Then what you do is you come over here to your MetaMask, click right here, go down to settings. You wanna to go to advanced and you wanna to go to customize transaction nonce. By default, it is turned off. You wanna make certain that it is turned on. And you wanna remember this number, 1857, whatever your nonce is, you wanna know what that number is. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send a transaction to ourselves, a zero ETH transaction. It will cost us gas fees, but it should remove this pending transaction. 1857, we'll come here. We'll grab our own address. We'll send zero ETH. It asks for the nonce. 1857, 1857. That's good. Usually it doesn't default to that, but since that was the last transaction, that's one more thing I should point out. You may come over here and you may see that you have several transactions, three or four in a row that are stuck pending. You go to the first one in the list, typically the lowest nonce, and that's the one that's stuck. That's the nonce or the number that you would enter right here, which 1857 is probably because it was the last one. And so it was gonna cost us a little bit of gas fees, but it's important that we send a high gas fee, higher than this gas fee, by about 10% higher. So let's come over here, take a look. Looks like our gas fee, the gas price was five GUI. So we wanna make certain that we go over that. Okay, if gas fees are quite low right now, thankfully, but we're gonna make certain that we go over this. Uh, the last one said that it was five GUI. We're just gonna to go to 10 GUI. Okay, we have 1857. We're gonna edit this max fee. That should do it, advanced options. We're gonna go ahead and go to 10, just to be on the safe side, save, confirm. So let's go back to Etherscan. We'll wait and see what happens. We'll wait for that transaction to clear. Okay, confirm, went through. Let's click a refresh to see what happens. There we go. I refreshed again and it's all cleared. So now you should be good to go. See, we sent ourselves a self transaction. Hey, if you wanna know a simple way to swap Ethereum to BNB or to AVAX or to Bitcoin or to any other cryptocurrency without having to use a bridge, without having to use an, a traditional exchange, don't have to worry about KYC AML, go ahead and watch this video. I'll link it right here uh, in the top left-hand corner. And if you wanna learn about the one project that's helping me earn $1,000 per day, I'll link that video in the bottom right-hand corner. You can go ahead and watch that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. Do me a favor, smash that like button if this has helped you fix your MetaMask problems. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.